What's going on YouTube? This is the Beer Flames here. Today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video for Optic Fit. So, today I got a little bit different thing. It's going to be a gaming Optic Fit challenge. Rule number one, you're going to pick a video game that it's multiplayer that can keep track of how many deaths you have per each game uh, that you search. Rule number two, now I want you guys to keep close attention to how many deaths you got. Now this is going to work best for first person shooters because that's what I'm going to be playing. I'm sure most of you guys are going to be playing that from Call of Duty, Halo, Titanfall, whatever. But what we want to do is keep a track of how many deaths you get. Rule number three, so after the game is over guys, I want you to look at those deaths and then I want you guys to multiply it by three. So you're going to be doing three push-ups for every death that you have. So if you had a total of 10 deaths, you're going to be doing 30 push-ups. So rule number four, guys, is that it's going to be a three-hour thing. So basically what I'm going to be doing, so you guys can see it even live, is that I'm going to be streaming for three total hours. And the first two hours is where I accumulate all those push-ups. I'm going to be doing the push-ups after each match. But if, say, you know, I find a game before I can finish the push-ups, then I'm going to have to surplus, uh, have extra push-ups that I have to add to the next one uh, after the game that I'm playing currently. So basically, I want you guys to always keep track. And the reason for it being three hours is by the time you're done with the two hours, you have an extra hour to spare to finish any push-ups you haven't finished. If you want to tag along, tag along. If you just want to see me do it, be sure to check out my stream. The description is below. Now, this gaming challenge is inspired during the Prima Games Titanfall strategy guide writing. Uh, our team basically every night before we went uh, left the studio we had this little multiplayer challenge that we would play each other and the losing team would have to do 20 push-ups and now the cool thing about titanfall was that there was an evacuation little mini game at the end so if we were able to escape if we were on the losing team each player escape would be able to deduct five push-ups and since we were a team of four of uh, so we were playing always 2v2 we could get back down to 10 push-ups so uh, with me playing halo and them having an mvp award system after each game that is what I'm going to do for deduction. So if I get the MVP award, I'm going to deduct five total push-ups from each time. So if I die 10 times, like I said, that was going to be 30 total push-ups. But if I get that MVP award, best believe I'm going to deduct five. Reason being is that it's just making me work harder. I want to try to avoid, uh, you know, as much as possible. So, you know, I'm getting, I'm doing physical stuff. So, you know, I'm, I'm staying fit while playing gaming. And I'm bettering myself at the game, which is why I'm playing the game in the first place, because it's something that I compete at, and I want to be as best as I can, so I'm working hard for both things. So, if you guys want to tag along, like I said before, my description is below of where I would be streaming, mlg.tv forward slash optic halo. If you want to just tag along and see me do it, come hang out. When this video is live, it should be good to go, and you guys should be able to see me just dominate on Halo 3 and then do push-ups on the side, so I can't use the excuse... I don't have time to do anything physical today. I'm going to do it while I'm gaming. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe if you did. And as always, this is the Out the Beer Flamesword. I'll see you guys later. Peace.